Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Ben. And we are Autosave. Welcome to our channel. What's... We got a letter? It doesn't look like they mailed it, though. There's no stamp. That's creepy. <laughs> Dearest Banana. Ben and I, awesome. I don't sign off so on that funny. nickname. You are allowed to watch the opening and ending of Attack on Titan. It is part of the normal AOT experience. With love, Cicerone Noah. What's Cicerone? Cicerone, a guide who gives information about antiquities and places of interest to sightseers. That's ah, so pompous. guide Noah. This <laughs> pompous. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, uh, okay. I want to watch them, uh, but I get your hesitation. I'm okay. Okay. I'll compromise. I'm okay with the ending. We watched the ending of the first season and the credits afterwards. I'm still borderline on the intro. So for now, let's watch the ending at the end of the episode, not mm -hmm. the intro, okay? Maybe we just need to get, like, a little bit into the season. Then we can do it. And then we can do it. Um, I would be interested to to hear if there's a certain episode uh maybe we can ask cicero and noah <laughs> well yeah cicero and noah says that we can watch it now so i don't know are we, um but are, are we, we the type of tourist that like doesn't listen to the tour guide and just goes <laughs> off path um it's a horror movie we are watching season two episode five of attack on titan yes last episode we had Ymir turn into a titan, which... Surprise. Total surprise. Yeah. Total complete surprise. I was, like, doubting myself the rest of that yes. night. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, how, did uh -huh. not, how didn't I know? Like... Guys, we pride ourselves. <laughs> we try. Like, try to pat ourselves on the back, you know, sometimes. If we, like, actually realized something or noticed something or were able to connect the dots... Uh, to something greater with this show and honestly I was like a little disappointed in myself uh, I was like Anna you must have missed something there had to be something that you just for some reason d didn't think of didn't notice because that was out of pocket like that was <sighs> yeah I didn't even have an inkling I like it was suspicious with the Amir but it wasn't suspicious in terms of her actually being a titan it was like oh she knows more than other people do she she knows this other language she must know the some secrets so i feel like with annie we were supposed to know yes and feel like oh we're smart like knowing <laughs> yeah, that annie was a titan they made us um confident that we yeah. were smart just to be like ha, you're dumb i feel like they intend I don't know. I could be wrong here. I, I'm like when we inevitably rewatch the show at some point, I think we'll we maybe might catch something. on to hints. But it felt like they didn't want us to even see it coming. I, which I, was I, fun because well, it like threw me off balance. I thought that I had a handle on understanding where the story was going, possibly to some extent, and then. The mangaka was just like, ha, JK, you don't know where I'm going Do you want to know the thing that made me feel like Ymir was not a titan? Ilsei's what? notebook. Like, her recognizing Ilsei and thinking it was Ymir was like, oh, so Ymir was a human, right? Well, like he, Exactly. So that titan would have seen Ymir in her human form, not in exactly. a titan form. So I, that it caught me so off guard. I don't know what to expect from her. We haven't seen her fight, you know? Um, I have high hopes for her uh, ability to protect Krista and everyone else in the tower right now. I am honestly, I think we need to talk about how sad it is of the people that were lost. Like I was kind of into Nanaba as a character Nanaba and I was cool. like, okay, you could be around a little more. And then Gregor. I think his name was like mm -hmm. Gregor or something. Gelg yeah, like Gelger. The, that cool Gelger. Gelger. I think, so. I think that was it. He had that kind of like grease lightning hairstyle, and I was like, "I'm digging you too," and mm -hmm. your alcohol love. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, so I'm kind of sad that uh, they died. Um, oh, weren't they like Mike's squad? So Levi lost his squad, and now Mike's gone, and his squad's gone. But. 
Armin, Eren, and Mikasa are assumingly on their way to, to Utgard Castle yes. to help out. To get to Krista mainly. Yeah, but they do, I'm thinking, um, that Hanji shared the Ymir information with Armin because uh, Levi had that line to Armin that was like, sh- exchange information with Hanji before you leave. Mm-hmm. And Hanji definitely made a face like uh, when... The name Ymir was brought up, which makes sense from Ilse's notebook. Yep. So I'm assuming that that's information that Armin now has that I don't know what it will be used for, but it will definitely be used for something once they get to the battlefield, if yeah. there's still a battlefield. And it'll be cool to possibly say the timing is like spot on and they arrive while Ymir is fighting and yeah. like Eren can like help her and they could like be back to back in Titan form. That'd be that badass. would be awesome and I want to see it. If I- she needs help. Do you think if she uh, needs help? That's a very good point. Did the Beast Titan walk away yet? The Beast Titan last we saw was throwing rocks from still on top of the wall. Yeah. Um, I don't know if he actually then left after that. Uh, what if he like turns around and is and sees Ymir as a Titan and like falls in love? He's like, oh. <gasps> I mean, that shot of her turning to Reiner when he brought up uh, the writing was pretty hot. So <laughs> yeah, maybe she's a hot titan. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. We uh, just got to see her DNA transformation. It was such a cool sequence, honestly. Um, the, the whole idea of that like language on the canned food, last thing I'll say before we get into it, um, very, very compelling. Like, it's... In my mind, it's one of two things. It's either that there remains canned food from an advanced civilization from year, like well before the world that we're in now that had a language and society that could produce something like canned food, or it has come from outside the wall in a different civilization mm-hmm. out there. It's hard for me to believe that there isn't some other grouping of humans somewhere else. I mean, how small is this planet? Like... I I can't see that everyone flocked to one small location and that was the only safe haven. Yeah. That's hard for me to believe. Uh, so, yeah. who knows? I like the idea of there being other people out there that no one knows about, mm-hmm. except obviously the people keeping them like cattle. Yep. All right. If you're still here before the reaction, make sure you catch our discussion when we watch the ending. I'm excited. I I love outros and intros music, so I haven't heard the outros music yet, so I'm excited for that. But, you ready? Yeah. Sweet. I feel like whenever I've watched a show that has multiple seasons, I've never felt like the opening songs connected to the previous seasons as well as as these do. Mm. Like, I know we've only heard, what, like, three opening? This is like the third opening we've heard. Yeah. And I feel like all of them have the same vibe, but, you know, there's slight catchy differences to them. And it makes you really feel like it's a continuation of the story. And I props to the musicians. The only show that I can obviously compare it to in that, like what you just said, is Hunter Hunter. Because they had, like, the same basic song and then changed, like, the Mm. verses up depending on season, right? Which is pretty cool, too. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. Historia. Is that like history in another language? Snow. Whoa. Where is it snowing? Oh my god, I know what this is gonna be. Do you remember what Ymir said to Krista? On top of the snowy um, mountain. Mm-hmm. We're getting a flashback. To like a winter training arc. I love those jackets, man. Yes, I do too. I want one. Oh, oh, it was before Marco's death. First thing in the morning. Makes sense. Who is Das? Are they pulling him right now? 
ダズを置いて私たちは生き残るか。3人とも死ぬか。3つ目にする。ユミルの見立ては間違っていて。Hell she trying to just die a hero again? This must be the Look at instance. Her eyes. This is what Ymir was referencing when she said that. この私は探すために訓練兵になったの。似てたからかもな。I reject my name, they win. Wow. Oh. She transformed oh, to save him. Oh, she's a good person. And purposefully made it so Krista couldn't see. You need to <laughs> All dressed and ready to go, too. He loves to offer to go with people to, to do the things that they want to do. Yes! The gang's all here! Except Jean. Is that her transforming? Or her landing. Mm. I was thinking, like, did nobody else see the light? Damn. I don't know. Seems pretty suspicious. Do you ask me? Oh. Oh, what a shot. Here we go. So in this moment, she's saying, now you have to live. Take back your name. What is her name? It's hated by the world just for existing. Oof. 
Wow. Oh, we're going to need to break down that line for... Whoa, she's smaller. That Titan's the one... It looks exactly like the one that... Wow. What does that even mean? He's mad. Was that not the secret she told her? Because she looked really believable there. Oh, she's known about it. Are you, is Reiner gonna tell them? <gasps> oh, parallel to Reiner with his hand on Krista's ankle. No, 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 no. She's too good a character. <laughs> Similar to the speech that she gave her. <laughs> Grab them, go. Oh my god. Want live? Grab me. It's like not complete. This is such a weird this image that I never coolest. thought we'd I get. Even, I didn't even. <laughs> Connie, that's no way to talk to her. <gasps> no! Oh! No. Come on, Ymir. What can she do? Is Mikasa? That Mikasa? Top 10 greatest anime entrances of all time. <laughs> yeah. But he's already screwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Levi, dude. Oh my god. Do they look more dead body to you than they normally do? A little bit. Oh man, she's hurt. Oh no. Historia. No, no, no. Wow. That was very unfair. I guess we're watching the ending. Yep. What an episode, man. Blonde girl with a titan. Krista, or Historia and Ymir. Titan has horns. Lady titans?
It's purposeful that they're drawn in very ancient art styles. Oh, yeah. It's paintings on a wall, it looks like. What are they eating? Whoa. <gasps> I asked you if they could swim when yeah. we first were going over the the to-be-continued screen. It seemed like they might have even walked on the bottom of the ocean. This song is like a little haunting. Very, like, godlike. Like Olympus. From the beginning, I guess, no? Was, uh, Ymir... Did she actually tell Krista? Did oh. she tell Krista and get her drunk so she didn't remember? Did she tell her something else? We did see that imagery of the drinking first, mm -hmm. so... They're not old enough to drink, are they? We don't know. We don't know what their age is. <laughs> okay, I really liked this the dialogue in this conversation though. Oh, sometimes it's so hard to go back and like not just focus on what we just I know, saw. I know, I know, I know. Okay. So she was from the interior and she snuck, snuck into the church to borrowing things to stay alive. Get food and stuff. I'm Interesting, right? She said she's from a similar situation. Krista, it's either an illegitimate child, it's either someone who couldn't succeed in a noble family, uh, someone whose parents wanted to kill her. So, I'm thinking, like, very at the top, right? I, it leads me to believe that, like, the highest-ranking officials or political members in this world are Wallists or have very Wallist influence. Which is so interesting when they, they say it's such a small faction of kind of of I don't know what to say. Crazy people? Obviously they're not crazy. Now we Similar know they were telling the truth. More or less. Um, they were made to seem like such a small minority in the society and that they were growing recently yeah. and getting more support. So it's weird that they would have such... How do they have such strong ties, you know? How did they get so strong? Good question. So quick. Um, When Ymir is saying more or less that they have similar, like, heritage, I guess, or not, or just being in a similar place. Is Ymir really old or not? Like, like, uh... Obviously she is, or not even really old. She's older than maybe we might think because she was the titan that killed Reiner and Bertold's friend. Like. And how did she go from being a titan that killed people to a titan that was able to control themselves? Is she different than, than Aaron or Annie? You know, is this like a total different situation? It, do you think it's like a cycle thing, like a re, like a a titan eats a person? If that titan survives long enough, then somehow it like gains back its ability to turn back into a person, and like that's why like it can kind of talk in broken English or broken words. I mean, that would be kind of cool if it's been around for a while, and therefore. So it's like. It would be like, uh, as long as you don't die to, I don't even know how that would work though. It could, it'd be like, there would be an original person who gets eaten by a Titan and then that person would turn into a Titan, uh, like down the line. I don't know. Um. This is a thinker. I don't know if she actually told Krista the full-on truth. Yeah. They didn't draw Krista's face to look like Krista was lying. When I reveal my secret to everyone. It has to be. Promise me. Promise me, take back your old name and live. And that's what she did after she revealed that she was a titan, right? Mm -hmm. But that... Krista, I felt the same. But she didn't make Krista promise to not tell. That's why I think it's weird that Krista Maybe would have lied. Maybe she did at some other point. Mm. I mean, Krista would definitely be put in a really bad situation if she said that she knew Ymir was a titan the whole time, right? Yeah. 
hated by the world just for existing which leads me to believe she was hated by the world for being a titan or Doesn't being somebody you who what, could uh annie when we got those flashbacks annie thought very similar things yeah i'm trying to see if i wrote down any quotes um <sighs> that was a good character guys that's that i was hated by the world just for exi it does feel like the people who have the ability to turn into titans at this point would be hated of by course. the world. Of course, they'd be thought right? of as monsters. People would be scared and suspicious of their neighbors and everyone. To give countless people joy, I gave up my life. Mm. In the past tense, maybe. Like, who did you? Okay, but who did you make happy? So, so it's either um. The Titan thing, or it's just very similar to literally um, Krista's way, right? If Krista would be hated by the world just for existing, right? Mm -hmm. If she was a mistress's child of a no uh, family of nobility, and uh, by going off, changing your name, and acting like you don't exist, you'd give countless people joy, you know, mm -hmm. by giving up your life. I just don't know if it's the same nobility thing, or it's like uh, s like a similarity based on her being a titan. Is it odd that I get the show gives us two types of two types of deaths with with characters that we know. Mm -hmm. And those two types are we're going to give you the time to feel sad or we're going to give you an emotional like we're going to give you some type of like time to create that sadness and then other deaths where they just go, boom, dead, and then you can't even be sad yet because you haven't processed that yeah. what just happened. Yeah. And this was the instance of, I should be crying right now because I think Ymir is a great character and that was way too soon to kill her off. I mean, it makes sense plot-wise why they did because that was like a huge monumental moment, obviously, for uh, Historia Krista. It it's would too soon. Too soon. It would. It would be really weird if Ymir was, was still alive after this. Like the questions that would be asked of it her. Would, would she? They would crystallize herself as well. Probably. Yeah. It's. I guess it's too soon for them to know how titans yeah. work and what the secrets are. I would live for no one but myself. And Ymir going out the way that she did. I think that she was living for herself. Mm -hmm. I think that she was doing what she felt like she wanted to do with no other. Um, you know, I you am know, oh. very disappointed in myself from the first second of seeing her not. Not. I started to think it for a second. Me too. And then I was like, no, there's no way because Ymir wouldn't eat a person. And it doesn't seem like Ymir has any recollection of it. And if she does, th this would have to be intentional for her. Doesn't the body look more gaunt than how her body looked in our current transformation? Couldn't just me be me looking for something. Like, maybe she was hungry. I don't know. Maybe people that turn into titans get hungry while other titans don't. And they just kill people for funs? For the funsies? Um, it's a good question, though. Let me try to bring up um, a decent picture of Titan Ymir. When you brought up the the... Ymir doing what she wanted to do for herself in this instance. The first thing it made me think of was in her conversation with Krista on the snowy mountain. Krista asks her, did you come with me because you wanted to be my friend? It, it definitely looks more ripped here. Yeah, maybe it's just like the lighting that they did of the like sun Abs setting. and everything. Yeah, I, I guess there's lines. So that would create shadow that could possibly look gaunt if you're looking at it that way. Yeah, it could it could it could look no different. It still has like muscles and everything. I don't. Okay, so we have to take this a couple. Like we have to figure out which way we're going to decide that we're taking this. That Ymir was this. Okay, I'm I'm thinking three things, right? Either Ymir, as a person, fused with this titan randomly, like a fusion dance kind of thing, and they became a person who could transform into a titan. Um, 
Ymir was this Titan, didn't have the ability to be a human, and through the passage of time, or maybe it's like a, if you kill or eat is this many people, you get to become a human, and then turns, uh, tr like, turns back into a human, or she purposefully killed this other person and left, uh, Reiner and Berthold alive. For a different reason. Well, I mean, you bringing that up is perfect, because how did they get away? We don't know. She is a lot quicker than I, I assume their two little boy legs that they have are. Mm -hmm. So how did they get away in this instance unless she didn't also want to kill them? Yep. So. Also, she's small. How'd she eat him in one bite? Because it was supposed to be done. Again, like she didn't try to like just, I don't know. It, it makes me think that she killed this other one and wanted to keep these two alive. For some reason. Yeah. But that'd be but weird. But she went for Ry uh, Rainer. Reiner. Reiner. That's Reiner true. First. So it doesn't seem intentional. That's true. So maybe her mission was to kill Reiner or something. Or maybe she wanted to kill Reiner. Or maybe eating one person satisfied her enough that she just moved on. But then wouldn't, don't you think it's weird that we didn't see any, like, shots of Ymir recognizing Reiner or anything if she had any intent, like, with these people? Mm, I guess that depends on how much you actually remember when you get out of it. Yeah. I mean, like, at least in Aaron's case, he's not the poster child for remembering everything that he did after transformation. Very true. And Ymir couldn't speak, like, perfect English. Mm-hmm. As a titan. There's still... And her eyes didn't wake up and register until she really heard Krista say anything. Um, so it does seem like it's almost like you're in a deep sleep kind of thing. And then only certain triggers could uh, awake you to take control back. Want live, grab me. Crazy. Craziness. That was an awesome scene, though. Seeing them, them ride in her hair. her hair. That was so smart. <sighs> okay, if it remember how we were saying the Aaron's like like a uh, passenger thing, like the evil passenger, dark if, passenger, dark passenger. If that was a sim, if that was an instance here, how would that work? If it was like a uh, like if there was a difference between the Titan that killed, um. Reiner's friend and her and like somehow there's like a transition there like and that they weren't under control yet right now I'm for some reason I just feel like they're so different like that she Titan is so different from like Annie and Aaron Titan for some reason I can't which is like just my mind keeping them separate I don't think there's actual like full reason that I should be keeping them separate do you think um so you know how she said I don't uh, wish. Wait, hold on. Where is it? Um, to give countless people joy, I gave up my life. Do you think that either she voluntarily or was forced into becoming a titan, like uh, because she was uh, like a mistress's daughter kind of scenario, and like banished and outcast for it, and then somehow ma uh, made her way back into being a human? And, what if like, instead of being killed, she was turned? Like, what if that's what they do with noble people's illegitimate children? I mean... They subject them to injections that make it so they can become titans and then throw them off into the wild. Because, okay, here's, here's, the, here's the best example of the, you know? She's from the interior, supposedly. Mm -hmm. How was she where Reiner and Berthold were as kids? They're from around in the same, I think they're from the first Walden area. Yeah. Uh, which was, it was Wall Maria. Mm -hmm. So they were inside Wall Maria, mm -hmm. like similar to Aaron and Mixa. Yeah. So how, if she's from the interior, how is she going everywhere? You know? It's a great question. It seemed, obviously she was in the interior later, right? Like, uh. That, they could have met her when, think of, okay, think of age-wise. She would have been a child. So what if that's why she couldn't control the the urge or animalistic nature of turning into a titan and that's True. why she killed the friend? Because she was a kid herself. Yeah. 
with this power. A baby turning into a titan. It's funny imagery. She would have been like, well, I don't know. How how old were Aaron and them when the show started? I'm going to assume like 12. Um, I don't think we were given an no, age. I, I don't think we were either. But I assume they're like young teenagers, maybe possibly 18 now. Yeah. Uh, because Krista was drinking and I'm just going to assume that maybe 18 is their drinking age. Um, I just, I don't know, man. Uh, it's the question for me, re like I would be able to narrow down so many of my guesses and options right now if I knew how old Ymir was. Like if I, if I knew how long she has existed in this world, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you told me that she has only been alive for 20 years, that would give me way more answers than, or if you were told me that she has been alive for 100 years, you know, then I could theorize for each individually, but it's difficult. They killed her because there are so many questions about oh, yeah. her. That is why. There is so much we could have learned from Ymir. And, like, we should be able to learn a lot from Krista, but I don't think she really knows anything. Do you think Historia is her last name or her first name? If she was hiding her name, then I would assume that it would be her, uh, she probably her had familial to change... name. Well, she probably had to change both names. Sure. I don't know. I mean, Historia... I'm gonna guess first name. I mean, wh why would you have to change your first name? Why wouldn't, like, if your name was, uh... Well, you just change your whole name. Because you don't want anyone to know it's you. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, like, it, there's no point in changing the first name, well, really. what if her first name is really freaking specific? That's true. That's true as well. But I mean, like, Ymir, I don't know if that's her first name or her family family name, you know? They don't really do I don't even family know names, names in, in this, this in the show. show. It's all first names. Um, they did look a little corpsey. I guarantee you these are the Titans these from are... Connie's village. Sorry, Connie. All of your family and friends just killed Ymir. Is it the extent that Ymir was hurt, or can she not regenerate like Aaron can? Ooh. I like that question. The Does she not have the ability? What if it's like experimentation and they've furthered it so by the time that annie or aaron were injected mm -hmm. they had more perfected it maybe and that's why they had full-on like actual bodies Not and like small. and like annie actually ha looked like a girl's figure yeah that's a good one so it i could like be that like one. maybe that's why she can't but i don't know look at that giant bite out of yeah and maybe it's like a if they take actual organs maybe it's like you, uh then you die no i was gonna say maybe it's like if you get hurt while you're in the nape of the neck you it's not able to be healed but aaron oh, was healed from the right. blade yes these wounds are with. actually on her on her body yes so that means that i mean that means she actually died within within the or you know had the fatal blow within the neck yeah but that wouldn't be the question of if she could or couldn't regenerate you know yeah yeah aaron regenerated when armin stabbed through the titan to stab him, uh stab his arm yeah but that's not a fatal blow that's armin, true. armin and levi specifically talked about cutting him out yeah with losing what they could which is like a limb yeah but it's so it's just like they can't regenerate past a certain point like if yeah it's, like a uh, vital organs yeah that like, if it sense. was just her arm and leg and not the, like, side thing, I think that she would probably still be alive. She has those marks that Aaron got when he was fighting Annie. Yeah, that you, like, pull yourself out. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, like, stuff on her neck, too, which I don't know what that's about. Historia is a very pretty name. Krista's a pretty name, too. I don't think we have ever heard of the word Historia. I could be wrong, but... Neither of their names were familiar to me, so... Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this was a big name drop, just like Ymir was a big name drop for us. Could Man. just be in the sub, yeah. and not the dub situation. 
I have so many questions still about Ymir, even though that we have just said goodbye to her. It's on purpose. Yeah, for sure. And then they had to go and show us Marco being with all his buddies <laughs> and pals. and. So I wonder if we're going to get... I mean, obviously Krista just said her name, Historia, around Hanji, right? Around other people. I wonder if next Hanji episode we're going to get a reveal. Yeah, you know? Hanji kind of reacted to the name. She definitely did. They right. drew Krista's crying face to be so pretty and detailed there. Krista's so pretty and detailed. Do I have to start calling her Historia now? That's going to be kind of hard. Maybe. My real name is Christoria. <laughs> this is story. Okay, they, Mikasa's never bothered by anything. Everybody else looks a little like, what? Real name. That or are they just reacting to seeing Ymir dying? Yeah. So much attention to detail Ymir. on the faces yeah. in this episode. It's so when good. It's up close. It brought Ymir some sense of like. Yeah. It joy. made her feel like she had got what she wanted, like something to make her happy. All right. Do you want to break down the outro? Uh, one more line from the show, and okay. then we can break down the outro. I wrote down. Like, scribbled it while we were watching. Use your passion to change your future. Oh, so good. No, not future. Fate, sorry. Even That's better. better. <laughs> <laughs> Where was that? Oh, Ymir said it to Krista. Sometime. Sometime in there. Oh, yeah. If you're so, so eager, eager, use eager. that passion. Use your passion to change your own fate. I love that. Krista wants... Other than being illegitimate and being cast aside by your family and forced to join the military, is there... That's why I feel like maybe she doesn't know any secrets. Yeah, okay. If I abandon my name and reject who I am, they win. If... Isn't that what Ymir says this, yes, right? Yes, if um a mis if if it was found out that there was a mistress's daughter, right? Mm -hmm. I know in like you know you can do the whole like medieval lore, like Game of Thrones, whatever. Like there are obviously a lot of stories with the negative connotation of being a as Game of Thrones puts it, a bastard, a bastard, right? And how that could affect lineage and power and everything else. Why in this world? Is it so important? Because we have not gotten very close to like higher royalty and who's actually in charge. So like it's very hard to understand it. Like why that uh would be such a risk. And also the age in which they were ready to dispose of her. Like if you're so worried about people finding out about this illegitimate child, wouldn't you, like, as a baby, either kill them or pass them on to someone else to be raised? Okay, maybe it's something that they just realized at this age. Like, maybe she wasn't able to do something. Maybe she wasn't able to turn into a titan. Maybe she wasn't able to, like, some awakened thing by this point. And then they're like, oh, she can't be legitimate. Or, or it's like one of those instances that the older she got, the more she looked like some other... Yeah woman or something is it is it a little weird that they're so concerned about this when we had like a lore drop at some point about how everybody within the inner circle has some relation to each other yeah they're all related right then why does it matter to this extent because she's from a very noble family that needs to look uh proper and needs to be wary of their image being Stepped on? Oh, we need to check the mid-roll. Um, yes, did. did we already do that? And I just had like a brain fart? I had it on. I read it, but it, I should have had us both. Where was it? Doing something without me. I'm sorry. I was probably talking. It's okay. Um, I had just pulled it up and I was like, because I wanted to know if like it was really important. Eh, what did it say? 
You wrote it. It was a, it was about like how Titans are less agile and stuff during snowfall. Um, oh, so everyone should just live in snowy mountains. Yeah. Why though? Is it the cold? Is it like a temperature it might, thing? Might be a temperature thing. That's a good idea because we see them steam <gasps> when they yeah. regenerate. Yeah, but wouldn't they like melt the snow? I don't know. There's a lot of snow. So um, many questions. Gosh. Okay, we're gonna break down the outro now. Yes, I'm upset that I can't find the mid rule though. Well, you gave me the gist. There it's it is. Okay. Oh. There it is. It's Information nice. available for public disclosure. Winter training. As Titans are most active in the sunlight, blizzards can hinder their speed. Soldiers able to move freely and swiftly in such poor conditions gain considerable odds for victory. Yay. Interesting, though. I think the the cold thing is definitely a... Uh... Uh, blizzards definitely block out sunlight, right? Yeah, and when it's really snowy, the the sky clouds. is cloudy. And... Clouds be doing their thing. Clouds um, be cloudying. Okay. Here we go. I'm okay. excited. Outro. So the outro is basically just like a long version of the to be continued scene. The music I want to listen to again after we break it down just because I thought it was really nice. So... I don't know if this is like a lore thing, a story thing, what it is, because this has no relation to me. What it tells me is that these are artistic depictions of Titans throughout the eras. And they're all very medieval, very, very church art. Reminds me of Egyptian almost. Mm, I could see that. Just like artwork on like, you know, um, mm -hmm. slabs. But there's one thing very important about it. They're, they are stained with blood. There, I'm assuming, was some war to oh, cover up history. Do you know what I mean, though? Because mm -hmm. like, the victors, obviously, seemingly are the people in charge of the world that we are introduced to and we know. This could potentially be blood from like a war that maybe from the war from the portrait that we saw in the courthouse... And they won and then decided to cover up whatever history this is. It seems like something like a devil, the devil, a red figure with a goatee and hooves and horns being. I don't even know. Reaching its hand out. It's is, is it like this? It's one hand with the thumb open. Oh, so is it taking or giving? It looks like she's handing it something. And it looks like fruit. Like no a peach or an apple. Yeah, maybe uh, it could just be a depiction of like uh, the the devil like giving Eve um, like the forbidden fruit kind of thing. Mm. I mean, that would match how it looks very like um, like a church painting. Yeah, I thought at first I didn't realize it was one hand. I thought it was two hands. Like, get away He's from like, me, dude! No, yeah, no, don't give me fruit. I hate it. Um, okay. interesting though. Next panel. Next panel. Nope, we gotta go back to that thing. But it didn't really show anything. It's a silhouette. It's a silhouette. Over broken something. Over cobblestone? Could be cobblestone. And it's meant to be like shadow? Then we have a giant, like, it doesn't, okay. You know how I was at the very end of the open, at uh, the, uh, the very end of the outro, I brought up that it had like Mount Olympus god vibes? It did. And now this one does too, with the lightning and the clouds and like a big lady coming out of like the ocean. Yes. Um, and the, the issue that I'm having or having trouble understanding, big lady, we're watching Attack on Titan, big lady equal Titan. Titan does not equal nipple. <laughs> I That is a very good point. Uh, Annie's the only female looking titan that we've seen what's that about no nipple they're in censorship i mean not here well um, i mean now they're censored i mean think about what they have maybe. to do with the literature they're censoring everything so, the, so <laughs> they're censoring the titans too <laughs> so they are in, also in world in world censoring the titans in depictions in their art 
Well, whenever this is, um, well, like, let's, it, makes sense. It's, it's artistic regardless, right? Uh, so it doesn't have to be necessarily Oh, fact. it was the artist's choice to add the nipples. Exactly. Um, but the lightning in the clouds definitely leads me to believe of, like, a titan appearing. Mm -hmm. You know, we always get that. Uh, it looks like water to me. It does look like water to me as well. Um, and, but there are people standing on the other end of it, too. It's very medieval. Obviously, I don't think there's a reason for it, but their faces are definitely smudged out. Mm -hmm. um, it's like an etching. What is this one holding? A sword without a blade? A gun. A gun. Um, interesting, though, right? Uh-huh. So, like, would this be, like, a first sighting or something? Maybe. It almost looks like it's wear- I can't tell if it looks like it's wearing a mask, or that's just the way that it's drawn. Is this supposed to be, like, the birth of Venus, but, like, Titan form? Mmm. That's cool. I wonder where this is. Like, where this all this art is. is. I know, I want to listen to it, like, full on. Um, okay. But where in the world these depictions are? Well, okay. Which wall? It has to be very important that we keep seeing this body of water in these older images in the to be continued screen but also multiple times in this outro you see titans coming out of the water and you either or people fleeing through the water to get away from them i know you judge me for pausing on specific Ooh, that things, was can but that was a can of herring i know you Judge me on pausing on specific things, but this one was very specific, no? Okay, I there's a way to go frame by frame on Crunchyroll. Give me a second. Give me a second, I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the back, getting higher than the Empire State. I love her, she's waiting for me, just across the bar. Woo, okay. Oh, was it before this? Yeah. Cans of fishies. Yeah, that looks exactly like the can that they had of the herring. It does. Huh. Ah, and you know what? You know what uh, herring comes from? The water. That's true. It's a super, super, super detailed drawing that. to hide in half of a frame. Yeah, you know? it's, it's like they meant for someone to go frame by frame. Without a doubt. Um... So the whole language thing is very important, and that being, it's a, this is, a, I'm assuming what we are seeing now, the depictions of, that is the world that the language that Ymir read mm -hmm. is from. I mean, they obviously don't teach, like, Old English or anything in schools. 45! 345. Is that Write the that year? Down. Is that the year? If that's the year, then that's the year that, uh, I don't know, we started in 845, I believe. Somewhere around there, yeah. Year Eight. 845. So is when... three, four, five. Don't so know what that means, but it's there. So that's how long we've been in this uh, <gasps> civilization, possibly. What comes after one and two? Three, four, and five. I don't know. Um, okay. Let's go. This one is creepy. Does it get it's any... Okay. Obviously cannibalism. What's the red here? It's I don't know. I want to watch that real quick. It's, oh, it's just switching. Okay. It's Old very dude. church royal. It looks like a prayer book that he's holding or some type of songs. Yeah, like instructions. This one's doing like a piss like a finger gun. Like pew, pew, pew. A few of them over there look like they're praying. They're crying about eating a person. I'm getting daughter vibes. Right. Three blonde daughters, and the there was a blonde in the first art that was giving that demon-looking creature fruit. It looks. Was it a fruit or was it a heart? Let's go back to that. It looks like a peach. It looks like a peach, but it does. It, they definitely look like they're eating. Like it doesn't Organs. look like. Yeah, it looks more organy, right? What and is, for some reason the youngest daughter is not sad about it, which. I don't know what that means. Good pickup. Oh, and it still has its clothes on and then hair. It's not a titan. No. But look at its teeth. You know? 
Is that a it human? Doesn't really look like a human skull, but everything else about it looks human. I want to go back. Okay. Um. Oh, it gives me feelings of like an embalming table or like harvesting organs from an Egyptian kind of uh, world. I mean, they have jars of blood. Yeah. Oh, all around they have jars of blood. So th it's definitely weird that the youngest one isn't crying. That seems hella intentional. Um, this probably is the most interesting one to me. Whatever it, this means for the past, I don't like it. So <laughs> it's obvious like uh, some royalty is making his children ritualistically mm -hmm. eat someone. To the point that they are very unhappy about it. Scared, sad. Do you think it's like a like they're eating like an ancestor or they're eating like a... Did, do you think it's a human? So, all of the lips in this, of like, the people standing around are very red. It's the same red as the organs. Oh. And it makes me think that all that's of why it. it's a skeleton, is because it's been stripped. Yeah, look, they're, like, it looks like they're all, they're eating, right? Kind of? Yeah, some of them, maybe. Or they did eat. It's like, all of them look so... That skeleton is way too stripped of flesh for them to be eating the organs over it like that maybe it's like the last bit or maybe like people all the like subjects eat from it and then the people in charge and do you think it's maria rose and uh cena cena that'd be cool it that would be cool if it if it was the reason that I'm saying that is there's size difference. Uh -huh. Like, it seems like ages, right? Like, uh, oldest, middle, smallest. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at that in, like, the ring sense, smallest, middle, mm -hmm. biggest. That could be a thing. Okay. This is so freaking cool, dude. It's like a stop motion. You know what I mean? They intentionally, like, did a different frame rate. So it's like, um, animatronic almost. And they're walking. Like I don't think they swim. No, I think they walk like on the base. On the yes, on the bottom. It looks like a castle. No. It's definitely a castle, and it doesn't look like the material of hardened Titan skin. So it's like more of like an Utgard castle kind of feel, right? Yeah. Um. Looks like a bunch of bayonets or so something. So are we to assume that? The people who were eating are in this castle, or they came for, or they're the titans now. Are the cannibals the titans now? And yeah. that was their like divine punishment for eating other people. Or, or they did it to get like superpowers. Or did titans become a thing for divine punishment against the people that were eating people? Correct. Look at their armor. It's so, like, medieval. Like, it's very, like, uh, like, stereotypical. You know what I mean? What if that's the secret to becoming a titan? Is, uh, some type of cannibalism. We heard about the cannibal uh, cannibalistic tribe, right? Mm -hmm. Um. It seems like that's a specific idea to bring back both in that instance, the story we heard, we heard from Hanji, and then with this outro, it seems like cannibalism might be at the heart of some reason of this existing and or something people resorted to because they of were this. operating for 25 years, cannibal tribe. That was really, it was like very, like, it was like a very subtle, like, a uh, paragraph, and then. Their leaders were Sonny and Bean, right? Like, what is what if it's like if you eat another person, then you like lose a bit of your humanity, kind of thing? What? And the more you eat people, the more you become a titan. Maybe. These look like more zombie, and the bigger ones look more humanistic, right? Mm -hmm. These weapons are really interesting. Yeah. Do you think that this is 
like our uh our medieval defense here yeah. is we're this not their much further in terms of um development and technological advances uh than do you think this, this is the first time they've seen titans because it seems like these weapons were almost like made for it i don't know because didn't they always have spears like this in history like for like know, jousting they're... and on horses that's true it's oh, not gonna I love work the animation well. I mean, of it, They can it, only dude. poke their eyes out. Oh, that guy. Oh, that has like a person hanging out of its mouth. I don't like that. See, doesn't the fashion not look too different to you? It's like this they could be a. This whole thing could be a thing yet to come. It could be in the future. I think we're like it's very easy to assume that it's in the past, but if we're trying to be fair. Wow. Look at oh, this. Oh, that's imagery. Holding up the this. youngest and smallest so it can maybe escape. Yeah. To the light, you know, to the world. Look at that. Ew, you can see it's like drool coming down. Oh my gosh, this it's scene. A, it's like sacrifice. Um, It's like that whole theme of like sacrifice in the show of killing off a mass of people so a smaller group of people can survive and have food to eat yeah to a very big degree though it like it's like a go on you're our last hope or only hope but also mm -hmm. very like please escape while you can you can fit through the bars we can't like jump out the window or even that's it's better like, than uh, yeah or maybe don't look like, you know, I love the way that they animated this. Oh, don't like it. I mean, look at this. Like, how Is that the Colossal Titan? Maybe it's just a really big one. I don't know, dude. That looks like the Colossal Titan. It's pretty tall. It, it could just be any Titan, but it looks, it, it's shape. No one stretches like that. It's not an airhead or taffy. People don't stretch like that. Guy is like eating. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird one. Also, it's like I Mr. hope Fantastic. I I hope I never see a Titan stuff their cheeks like a chipmunk with people. I don't. I don't want to see that. It, are they? Uh, yeah. It's weird, dude. The selective coloring for the blood is amazing. Is that a moon in the background? If so, how are they walking at night? Oh, the chewing! Yeah, they all did not They're the skip same. leg day. <laughs> they all look the same, though, no? They all look the same, and they all go to the gym together. So... None of them are covered in big skin. Big boy footprints. They're, they're all, uh, like, tendon sinewy. This frame by frame thing is going to be the death of you. I promise. I'm so like I'm so excited to figure this out so I can look at like every single frame. Um, that's it's very it, we've never seen duplicate titans, right? Mm -mm. These maybe it's just the artistic thing, but like they look very similar. Okay, um, it just looks like a film grain thing. Whoa, that's interesting. That right? looks like photography. It does. Of people like being shocked and beard. surprised that ladies holding on to maybe like her significant other. Those Maria are the Rosa walls. Zeta! <laughs> the walls have faces. Right? Yep. The wallists. It's... Maybe the Titans inside the walls are the girls. Maria, that's a Rose good and one Zena, and so they created the walls and that's why they're named that's a really good one that's the church that's all of them holding hands and being like parallel imagery to the actual situation we're finding out about doesn't this look like photography mm -hmm. like instead of animation like it look or cartoon whoa no that that's exactly from the finale just in a sketchy form yeah it's just so that's pastor nick just in a sketchy form He's, he's already sketchy. pretty sketchy, dude. He's already sketchy. What is this one? Uh, that's all the people walking. Oh, yeah. Getting away. 
man, you can, I just feel like hopelessness mm -hmm. seeing that. There's some cane action going on. Different imagery though, because there aren't titans leering over them as they walk through the valley. Again, walking towards the sunlight, the horizon. It reminds me of like the land bridge scene from Ice Age. You know? It feels biblical to me. It does feel biblical. I wonder who's leading that walk. It's like a, it kind of reminds me of like a Moses I was about to say, let my people go. Oh, so interesting, dude. The, you know what? The, the thing that I love most about this anime by far, this show, this story, is just like how much thought is obviously put into it. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's so entertaining. Oh, there's the bird. That reminds me of Noah's Ark, no? Maybe if he had like a piece of straw in his mouth. I mean, it would make sense if all of this was treated as biblical to the Wallists. Maybe it was like a culling, you know, like Old Testament God, like uh, the world wasn't like how he was liking it. So he was like, wipe it out, restart. Or it was a plague. The Titans were a plague because he wasn't happy with what's happening. Think, look and at this like imagery. they're like from the ground. That's so interesting. Like from the dirt. Zombie? Because it's like, and not the bird flies zombie. away, next scene, dead or lying, and they're getting up. And they're titans, obviously, right? Yeah. Whoa! That's why it felt like Mount Olympus. It does feel like Mount Olympus. It feels like Olympus. these are the gods. And those are the people kneeling to them. What if that was the case? What if there were titans that were talked in like English or spoke the language That's and it. were the leaders? We figured it out. It's a Percy Jackson situation. <laughs> a titan had sex with a human, human. and they created these Not other titans. Not intelligent titans? titans? What more do you want me to say? Um, Is it someone trying to make people become like the gods? And that's why they're injecting? Them? Maybe. Is this like three tiers of things, though? Is it, It's like, like the smaller titans and then the like... Larger. Larger, and then the lead one is a woman. But her... <laughs> she's, Jesus. She's a whore. That's some like... No, that's some like serial killer like... Uh, I'm gonna X out the face in your picture shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it, that part of history has been crossed out. Yeah, or like just, uh, I just feel like, um, hatred. Like, whoever stumbled across this, uh, like, we saw blood was splattered on it. Whoever stumbled across these depictions doesn't like her. The horn's interesting. Mm-hmm. I, uh, pull, like, behind the curtain a little bit. I, like, uh, studied archaeology for a bit in school, and I'm obsessed with anything, like, like, adventure wall paint. I don't know. I feel like I need to call Josh Gates right now. Like, uh, like, it, it's, this is very compelling to me. I'm, this is easily one of my favorite shows of all time already. And that was it, No. And I was focusing on, like, time period of, like, our history that each depiction and each art style was calling to. And each uh, fashion, like, what, the, what they were wearing, what era, renaissance, mm -hmm. medieval. I will say that Crazy Ben thinks there's something here, but I don't know what it is. It's the exed out woman, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're still seeing her. And then you see, like, like a little bit of darkness on the right. Then two, like, humps. Oh, we saw then that before on top of the other thing. Something else. And then it changes shape again. And then, you know, it looks like a horse here. <gasps> Shallot. <laughs> Shallot's the key. The horse. Um, last, I just wrote this while, while, uh, just a second ago. <laughs> um... 
We don't know the history. Krista or Historia, her will is the only thing that can change the future and the fate. And Krista is the path to knowing the history. And her name is Historia. She is history. Uh. Historia. <laughs> Man. Needless to say, Krista Historia, Christoria is um, important. We didn't, like, even if the what we just saw was, like, the first Titans and how they came to be, we didn't see the Oranga Titan. God knows how he even came to be. I don't even know what's going on, dude. I just love the aspect of world here. Like, I don't love Game of Thrones, but I do love a, the world of A Song of Ice and Fire, and I have, like, the world book. I just love interesting, cool, well-thought-out I mean, worlds. That's one of the most impressive things a, a writer can, can create, is a convincing, well-thought-out and fleshed-out world. Yeah. Like, with its own religions and its own societies and civilizations and their own just cultural... It's so cool like it's such like a talent because like a lot of stories are like oh yeah i can write a religion and a culture look at it look at it the all the main characters in the main stories are all about it look at it but it's like this is like oh i wrote everything you could possibly think of more than one language whatever worlds whatever histories like whatever but 500 I'm, years in the past history but i'm only gonna tell you like a little piece of it like in the middle, you know, mm -hmm. like that, like that's so cool. That's so awesome, dude. And their winter drip, Marco, my I man. I want that parka. Me I love too. it. I take back what I said about uh, last episode about Reiner's outfit um, and Berthold's outfit looking futuristic. I didn't realize that they had coats to this extent. It's, it's so weird to me how selective they are about anything that looks later than renaissance agreed connie looks like steve jobs how can they dress like this but then the people in the interior literally probably have like petticoats on so interesting so is ymir in a church i don't know man <sighs> so yeah that was an episode of attack on titan it was is that Time's our, up. Is that, we gotta go. <laughs> that's our timer to know. <laughs> that's our cue. We We've have, probably talked for an hour. That's, we have that's run the cue. this discussion to into, its end. Into the ground. Into the ground. We've devolved. Ugh. Okay. Yep. All right. You good? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys <laughs> so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope to see you next time.